My name is Dr Lindsay Hughes and I am here to talk about the MSc in Health Psychology. I am one of the module leaders on the course and um, this particular iteration of the course has been running for about six years. Um, and it's uh, generally myself and the core team in the Health Psychology team which is based up here at Guy's. Health Psychology um, is a specific brand of psychology so it's about um, really about the interface between uh, physical and mental health. So how can we help people to live healthy lives, both in terms of preventing themselves from becoming ill, and then also once you become ill, how can we live healthily and happily um, with that? So the health psychology section is part of the Department of Psychology, and it's internationally recognised for excellence in both teaching and research. We currently have four professors, uh, seven lecturers and over 20 PhD and postdoc researchers and actually that number has increased again um, recently so we, we have a very um, dynamic diverse range of people who are within the section all contributing to the research environment. So there are really two sides to health psychology there's the preventive public health side so um, things like smoking cessation, diet and exercise, um, and safe sex practices. And then there's more of what we call clinical health psychology. And that's what we focus a bit more on. So that's living with long-term conditions, coping with disability, and being able to live a full life once you actually become ill. So the course does actually cover all aspects of health psychology, but in terms of the research that we actually do, we're much more focused on that clinical health psychology side. So we develop interventions, looking at depression in long-term conditions, um, treatment adherence, looking at um, mindfulness, um, really more focused on living a healthy, happy life with a long-term condition. A big part of the course in terms of the research side is looking at this translational side. So in terms of knowing what works, so what types of interventions work to um, help to reduce depression, for example, in a long-term condition, how can we actually get that embedded into treatment? So how can it become part of the NHS model? And that is also um, a strand of the research that we do. So these are the core staff that we have. We have Professor Rona Moss-Morris at the top and she is the head of the section and she is the um, co-director for the course. Um, we've got Dr. Joe Chilcott, who is the program leader. Um, and then we have um, myself and a new teaching fellow. We also have a new member of staff who will be starting in January, who it will be a uh, clinical lecturer. So she will be embedded within a clinical service within um, cardiology and then also teaching on the MSc. Um, and Anna, our administrator. So I've got some Twitter handles here. Be free, uh, feel free to follow us. We tweet about our work and about health psychology more generally. Um, and if you have any questions, um, then you can uh, focus them towards Anna. The course is BPS Stage 1 accredited for health psychology. So health psychology is a protected term within the UK. You need to um, have completed Stage 1 and Stage 2 to be able to call yourself a health psychologist and work clinically as a health psychologist. So the MSc provides the Stage 1 and that's really the background, the theory, the research methods and something that our course offers is an introduction to clinical skills as well. So we aim to provide students with the advanced knowledge and understanding of theory and practice. We train students in the informed and systematic approach of the research practitioner model. So really we want to embed research within clinical practice so that patients are benefiting from uh, cutting edge treatments. Um, we also um, really focus on some transferable skills. So there is a placement and a project that are part of the course. And from that, we really want you to gain skills that will help you regardless of where you go after the course. So working independently, communicating with um, different types of people, working um, within groups, being able to um, have lots of different skills that you can move on, whether that's in a research, a clinical, or in an entirely uh, different area after the MSc. So some of the course highlights that we really wanted to get across are the fact that it is um, accredited for stage one health psychology, as I said. It's research led from experts in health psychology. So we have um, 
the core MSC staff, but we also invite experts from across the country to talk about their own area of expertise. You've got the 100 hour applied placement and that placement is organised for you. So you don't need to go away and find that yourself. There's also a research project that um, takes place in the third semester. Um, we also have a range of assessments, lectures, workshops, um, seminars and reading groups. So there's lots of different ways to learn to be able to really maximise your um, opportunities. So we had a recent accreditation um, visit from the British Psychological Society. So they come, they check what we're teaching and they talk with the students and uh, they make some recommendations. So we had four commendations from our recent um, visit and um, I'll go through some of them. So the opportunity for students to undertake a placement is an excellent aspect of the programme. Um, so the, the range of placements that we have and the depth of experience was something that the BPS really focused on. The student experience is enhanced by availability of personal support of the staff. So each um, student is assigned a personal tutor and I'm also the uh, personal tutor coordinator so that everybody has a named person to go to if they need to have some extra support. Um, we've integrated it with other applied psychologists through the placement and through inviting the um, experts in to do um, one-off lectures. Um, and the range of um, assignments that we do really set students up to go on to stage two training. So having to do the clinical placement, we do some um, uh, clinical skills taster sessions, so learning what is CBT, what is acceptance and commitment therapy, what is mindfulness, so you really start to get an idea of what you might want to do when you go on to stage two. So in terms of the admin side, the entry criteria is you need to have um, a graduate basis for um, uh, the British Psychological Society. So you need an undergraduate degree in psychology, essentially. Uh, it needs to be a 2-1 degree. Um, and if you have any questions on that, you can go through the admissions process and they will be able to answer if, for example, your course is actually accredited by the BPS. Uh, we run across three semesters and teaching is typically on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays and we have a cohort size of 30 so we try to keep it reasonably small um, so that you have lots of one-to-one um, uh, -one time with all of the um, lecturers. And this is where some of our students have gone. So we have um, a high proportion go on to do PhD, they've also done clinical psychology training, stage two, um, also gone on to be assistant psychologists and psychological wellbeing practitioners within the IAPT service. We have a very high employability rate for our students um, and we also have a careers tutorial um, session in semester two so that you can really get a good idea of what types of careers you can go into and also the best way to do that. We're based here on the uh, Guy's campus um, and we have, you, you can see that today, there's um, library services, there's lots of um, amenities around in the, in the vicinity. We also have some lectures down at Denmark Hill, um, which is where the main psychology department is. And that's it.